well, from from teaching alternate picking so much, the uh, the thing that I've realized is that I've been teaching it not incorrectly, but I've been choosing. I've been I had made a poor choice of the starting point because I chose a lick that's really easy to understand and really difficult to play, and the result has been frustration and, and bad sounds throughout the earth. So I apologize for, for that. And I, I think I have a new starting place that is uh, a lot better because I went back in, in, my, in time and in my own playing and, and realized where I began to develop my picking technique. And it began with a blues shuffle. Shock horror for the heavy metal people. I apologize for, for, to, to make you listen to some blues. But uh, if you just do a regular... That is the core technique of everything because you have to go between two strings. And having to do it with a shuffle actually is, is great because it builds your ability to control the rhythm and the, and the, and the uh, dynamics of things and, and even the, that kind of scratchy sound by angling the pick. Now, with, that, with this particular shuffle, the higher note is on the downbeat. So if I start stomping my foot, the higher note is with the foot. Those are downstrokes, and then the, the upstroke is the in-between shuffly beat, or you know, like. So that's one way to do it. And actually, most of my really ripping fast picking is the opposite, where I started doing the upstroke on the down beat which is really counterintuitive for a lot of people, and I know it because I've seen it in, in students, and they are just like, ah, I can't do it this way. But the nice thing is, at this level of playing a sim lick as simple as this, it's not that bad. Because really all you're doing is, you know, that, but you're flipping it around where, I mean, I don't know if you can hear it. I've, I've got the time in my head, and I didn't demonstrate it to, to you. So if, if you, if you do it one way, like, I'm not shuffling anymore, I'm just demonstrating the picking technique. A low note, and, and the most important thing here is we're outside. If these are the two strings, we're up here and we're down here, we're not in between. So, uh, and then if you just do that exact same thing, you, you don't change anything in your playing, but you change where it is in relation to the foot it would be, turn that to the shuffle. So in theory, that should be a technique that, that everybody can do easily. It's just a matter of being able to relate it to the rhythm in a different way and to do it enough where you can. There, I, I did the down again. I want to do the up. There we go. Up, 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 up. All those ups are on, are on the downbeat. That's the core of everything. And uh, you could take that on the, on the very first Def Leppard album. There's, I don't know if I'm playing it right, but there's a song called Answer to the Master. And uh, I'm just guessing it was Pete Willis because he's the biggest on the photo on the back of the album cover. And he's got a pointy guitar. And in that song, he's playing something like. You know, so it's just standing on top of a volcano with lava coming out, kind of a lick. And it's this exact thing. But I just put it up there and add a pull-up, then up an octave. And those are pretty ripping triplets, but it's all just based on the simple blues thing. So that's where it came from. And I really recommend that anybody who wants to pick fast start there. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's almost, well, I've, I've seen it demonstrated with, with human beings so much time, it's futile to start with a... I've been teaching that thing since 1990, and it's just brought 
it brought nothing but but sonic pain. So I, again, I, my apologies, and don't start there. Now, when you end up there, that begins again with the down the downbeat and the upstroke synced up. But there's so many other issues with that. The left hand's got to be able to have the strength to do that. To play at that speed with all picking, the motions have to be so small and accurate that it takes years to develop, or at least for me it did. It took me eight years before I even began to try that lick. So um, hopefully that's, I mean, that might not be as exciting to watch as like, dude, check it out, he's doing this fast thing. But I think that's going to be helpful for everybody. Just start with a shuffle and build from there.